Ladies and gentlemen, BCBT here, and today I'm back with some Starbound. Now, I don't know if you guys know what Starbound is, so I'm just going to give you guys a brief run-through of what Starbound is. Starbound is... If you've ever heard of the game Terraria, it's kind of... It's kind of like that. It's a 2D side-scrolling, I guess, adventure? I don't know. It, it's... It's it's a fun game and it's procedurally generated similar to Minecraft. Um although it's all about the stars, all about the universe, the final frontier. So yeah, that's a, that's kind of the gist of it. It's just explore the universe, create, you know, all that great stuff, you know. So we're going to get right into this and start by going into single player making a new character yeah i have a bunch of characters already and i'm just gonna make a new one so we'll click here to create a new one so we have all our races here we got our humans avians apex florin hylodl and glitch um there's also the genders of course you know there's male and female i'm gonna go for a male this time uh so for race i'm thinking Perhaps maybe avian or high lotl. Normally, I really like the high lotl race. Um, you know what? I might, I might go for. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Florin. I haven't really made a Florin. No, no, maybe I'll. Ma I'll make an apex. Okay. So, what should I name him? Well, actually, first let's start by making him. So, let's see. Maybe like. I'm thinking, yeah, like some sort of bearded man, Sing skin color, okay, maybe something, let me see, pink, pretty fancy, I, I like that, hairstyle, okay, you can go through all these, I'm thinking of this one, let's take a look, let's look, oh, wait, I like that, I like that, I think I'm gonna stick with that, okay, so then, and go ahead and look through the shirts. Ooh, this one's kind of like, you know, all buckled up, ready to go. I like that. I like that. I'm not sure about the color, though. That kind of, what is that? Looks a bit like he has some sort of, what's it called again? Fire extinguisher on his chest. It's kind of neat. Uh, what other ones are there? Uh, okay, that's it. So I'm going to stick with this one. Maybe make him kind of Santa Claus, you know? Uh, as for pants, you know, just that, that's a uh, standard military uniform although buddy come on okay there we go it's kind of adventurous look you know change uh oh we can change the beard style Let's see if there's something kind of like viking sort of beard braids that'd be awesome uh maybe this that looks good i like that okay so now for shirt i'm thinking what color could it be i'm thinking kind of greenish blue what's a good contrast to that oh uh, let's go with is there that uh, you know looks good what are the colors are there i like pink P pink might be good for him you know what brown no uh what about green i'll go with the yellow shirt for him and we're gonna stick stick to normal mode you know because hardcore is like you know Drop all your items and then permadeath, your character will die forever, so yeah. Uh randomize his name, Teeth Teaser, Lemon Hands. I like I like Lemon Hands. Uh he needs a last name. Lemon Hands Johnson. I don't know if I spelled that right. Whatever. Okay, let's go. Lemon Hands Johnson. Oh, did that fit in? I don't know if that fit in. Oh it does. Maybe. We'll find out. If not, he'll be Hans Johnson. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, let's just go. So now we have Lemon Hans Johnson, and we are gonna go into his world. Okay, there we go, and we're in. So the Mini Kong has crushed the Apex Rebellion. You have escaped with your life intact by hijacking a Mini Kong ship. Is, did I say that right? Yeah, Mini Kong. No, Mini. Mini, mini knog. Okay, sorry. Part of my pronunciation. 
The ship has run out of fuel in orbit of an unknown planet. Before setting out in search of fuel, search your ship's storage for a matter manipulator. Press E to interact with objects. Okay, so our reward will be 10 pixels and I guess the matter manipulator. So uh, I believe this here is the ship locker. Yep. So we got our broken riot sword. I like that. I'm going to put that in our left hand. And actually, in this game, most characters are left handed, so that's kind of neat. And we got our matter manipulator. Put that in first. Flashlight, put that there. Actually, you know what? I'll put. Is this two handed? That's two handed. I was going to say I'd put the flashlight here. Actually, I'll still put it there. And then wheat seeds. I'll just toss those into my inventory here. Torches. Good to carry some torches on you. And banana seeds. So we can start ourselves a nice farm. Quest complete! Well done, the matter manipulator allows you to manipulate almost anything in the game world. Sweet. Okay. Shop class. It's time to search the planet for fuel. To survive down there, you'll need tools. To produce tools, you'll need to make yourself a crafting table. Similar to Minecraft, once again, like I said before. Use your ship's teleportation platform to beam down. Okay, I'll do that, but I'd like to search my ship first. So... Over here, I have my tech selection machine, where, uh, for those of you who don't know, tech is basically sort of like, how can I say it, like power-ups, I guess, to your character. So, sort of, for example, jetpacks, mechs, any sort of things like that, you find tech just randomly around the world, it generates into planets, and you can find it, and you can then lock it into your tech slots. So, there's like bubble jetpacks and stuff. A bunch of awesome stuff. It's just incredible. Sometimes they can be difficult to find, but you know. Oh, wait. Yeah, not done here. We've got a 3D printer as well. This, um, I think if you scan an item into the 3D printer, it, it will destroy the item, but then you can get that item back by paying pixels for it, right? And now you probably don't know, but pixels, I have pixels up here in this corner. That's the currency in the world or in the universe of Starbound. So, uh, you get it from killing things, you get it from completing quests, all that stuff. So, yeah, uh, over here we have our fuel, or our fuel canister, don't know what it's called, fuel tank, I don't know. So, you can put things that can fuel your ship in there, and that way you can fly it to other planets. And over here we have, I guess, our navigation chair thingy, cockpit, yeah. So, you can find planets, you know, like, you know, I could just go out into the universe and look around wherever I wanted to go. Of course you need fuel to go to this, like see, you can see at the bottom there, which is zero out of a thousand fuel, uh, right down over here. So see, if I wanted to go to Alpha, blah, 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 I'm not going to say that name, and then I chose this planet right here, it tells me how much fuel I need, but I don't have that fuel, so I'm not going to go there. Anyways, you can also set home planets and all that stuff, so yeah, so that's just some pro tips, yeah. Anyways, I have indeed played this game, and when it first came out, I, in a couple days actually, I completed the entire game. But, you know, I'm gonna take it slow here, so, uh, yeah. Now, something I wanted to mention, I'm playing this right now because I've been having a lot of trouble trying to figure out what to do right now, video-wise. Um, I don't know, it just seems like everybody's been really busy lately. And, you know, I've been just having trouble with these things, so I'd like to be able to, you know, think up something. If you guys have any suggestions for games I should play, or, you know, whether it's Minecraft minigames, or just maybe an adventure map, you know? Um, yeah, just tell me- why, why am I digging up dirt? Yeah, just tell me, um, if there's anything that you might want me to do, so... That would help a lot, just post it in the comment section below, and I'll look into it. So, what are we doing? We're chopping this tree, it's taking forever. Oh god, everything's so freaking, takes forever at the start, you can't do anything. <laughs> Finally, give me a wood, give me a wood, wood. chopping wood. And also, something really cool about uh, Starbound, you see, I'm not sure if you can see there, on the side of the screen, you see that little eyeball monster guy. All the monsters, or 
animals or whatever in this game are all randomly generated for each planet. So, you know, freaking awesome. You know, you're always encountering different ones. You can capture them like Pokemon with your little Pokeballs and stuff. Okay, that's, I don't think I'll be getting this gold. Is it, are you good? Oh, oh, you're not good. You're not good, are you? You good? No, you're not. You're not good. Ooh, first battle. Arrgh. Yes, Lemon Hands Johnson, the Monkey Man Warrior. Oh God, you are just an abomination. Ooh, oh my God, what? What was this? Oh my God, Mushroom Dude. Oh my God, I haven't seen these guys before. I'm not living in your house, Mr. Mushroom Man. Okay, well, I guess this is where I'm making my home. Okay, Mr. Mushroom Man. What, what are you? So what, can I press I, was it? Or what, what button is it? Or I can press this, and then I can inspect him. Huh, some funny looking person, yeah. That's right, his head's a mushroom. And you're a monkey, Lemon Hands Johnson. You're a monkey. Huh. The world is strange. Okay, what's what's in your crate? I'm stealing your loots. Oh, nothing. Great, great, thanks. Um, break his pots. They have pixels in them. Plenty of moolah for me. Okay, let's see. Also, I'm not sure if you guys can hear it or anything like that, but my voice, I'm losing it a bit. I don't know. Talking a lot lately, I don't... I have no idea how I'm losing it, but I guess I am a bit. So, are you good? Oh, hey. So, yeah, also about the mobs. Uh, uh what was I going to say? You know, you know what? I don't know what I was going to say. I have no clue what I was going to say. Mind blown. Okay, uh, do I actually have what I need? Ooh, more iron. Okay. Uh, uh, what? No, don't. What? What? No, okay. Keep that in your inventory, buddy. Um, what do I do? Crafting, crafting. Press C. That was it. Uh, so we need a wooden crafting table, and that requires 35 wooden planks. So luckily for us, one unrefined wood, or log, or whatever you want to call it, makes three planks, so... Let's just go ahead and uh, okay math do your thing uh 35 i'm thinking 15 no 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 i don't need that much oh, whatever i'll just make how many do i have again i have 66 i'll just make 15 i guess because i know i can use that for fuel or to make charcoal or something like that or coal so now i can make this here we go quest completed well done using Using the crafting table will give you access to a wide range of new recipes. Collecting fuel and visiting a range of planets is the best way to find resources. Sorry, the, re the rewards thing is covering up the text there. I don't even know. Okay, sweet. Ten more pixels. By now, you're likely beginning to feel hungry. Food can be found in a variety of places, but in a pinch, hunting is your best option. Obtain some alien meat by killing the monsters with a bow and cook it on a campfire to produce cooked alien meat. Okay, so let's get that done now. 